welcome to Curry Leaf, present to you by IndiaInTracks.com and Suleka.com. Myself, Levin Johnson. I've got Arjun here to assist me for this recipe here. Today's recipe is Vengaya Tal Sadam. What we need for this recipe here, let me just run it through before we get into the ingredients. We need a pot like this, a deep pot where we're going to be cooking the rice. Colander to strain the rice. And this is what a round bottom pan, a thick round bottom pan to mix it up together with the rest of the ingredients. I'll just quickly run through the ingredients here. Spring onions, 100 grams. Ghee, 50 ml. 150 grams of basmati rice. 15 grams of chopped green chilies. 10 grams of chopped ginger. Split, 25 grams cashew nuts. 10 grams of mustard seeds. 10 grams of cumin. 15 grams of turmeric powder. Sambar onion, 20 grams, that's optional. Then we got salt to taste. So we just got the rice in here and you could just pour in the water. It's usually double the amount of water that it takes, but if you're just gonna strain it off anyway, which is a better way of cooking because you, then you know exactly where, how far the rice is cooked. So we just roughly add in water in it to cook the rice. I'm gonna put in some salt in here and let it boil. The rice has been on for the last 10 or 12 minutes, but more than the timing, all you need to know here is the amount of rice and a little more than the double amount of water. And then you could see almost the rice is all fluffed up. You could take one rice in here, tip of your fingers and try to crush it a little bit. And if it starts to, and that's just perfect because it's going to cook further when we're going to strain it. So this can go on a strainer. Now that we got the rice cooked just right, you could see that it's nice and floury and the grain shouldn't be sticking to each other for a dish like this. A bit undercooked is just fine. You can start off with ghee. Start with the mustard seeds. Then the cumin. Cashew nuts. Wait till the mustard seed starts to crackle and the cashew nuts will start to brown. Ginger, chopped green chilies, sambar onion. Just add the turmeric powder there and just a little bit of sweating. And now we're going to get in the spring onions and spring onions shouldn't get soggy. So you could squeeze the water off it and then throw it into the pan. Make sure the spring onions are squeezed before it's put in because it will make the dish very watery otherwise. And you're not meant to cook the spring onions, just a bit of sweating and then the rice. And the last thing to go on here is the salt. Rice has to be nice and floury. As you can see the cashew nuts are nice and golden here. The spring onions not moist enough, it's just still fresh. Don't overcook the spring onions here. And the color shouldn't be off. I mean like this amount of turmeric powder you gotta adjust here. And the last thing you want to do is the adjusting the seasoning. You could have this rice on its own or a very light gravy where you could taste the spring onions. Vengaya Tal Sadam is ready to be served here. Yeah?